Two Russian missiles have hit a crowded shopping center in the central Ukrainian city of Kremenchik, killing at least 16 people and wounding 59, according to emergency services. The attack on Monday caused a huge fire and sent dark smoke billowing into the sky. Footage circulated by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky showed. First-hand accounts from survivors and expert analysis have discredited Moscow's account of the deadly missile strikes on a shopping mall in the Ukrainian city of Kremenchik. Igor Konashenkov, a spokesperson for Russia's defense ministry, said its military fired a high-precision air attack at hangars where armament and munitions were stored, and the explosion of those weapon caches caused a fire in the nearby shopping center, which he said was non-functioning at the time. However, witness statements, information released by Ukrainian prosecutors and analysis by independent military experts point to three possible erroneous statements in that account that the Ukrainian military was hiding weapons nearby, that the mall was not a target, and that nobody was using it. CCTV footage shows the first missile struck the mall at 3.51 p.m. on Monday, and a second shortly afterwards hit a factory that Moscow contends was storing Western munitions. Outside the mall, Ukrainian police set up a table to collect twisted bits of a missile found inside. It is believed to have been an X-22 Russian cruise missile fired from a 222 m long-range bomber. Satellite images show the factory as 500 meters from the mall. According to independent military experts and researchers from Molfar, a global open-source intelligence community, the explosion there could not have provoked a fire strong enough to reach another building that far away. During a visit to the area between the mall and the factory, Little to no damage to buildings or roads was observed, suggesting no spreading fire. Dozens of workers who survived, as well as witnesses who lived nearby, said that the mall was open and busy when attacked. Debris included the remains of workers' badges, and products sold that day at the supermarket. A phone message allegedly sent by the local management of the mall on 23 June urging employees not to leave the shopping center in case of air raid sirens. Starting from today, this shopping center will not close during the air alarms, the message stated. The shopping center is open from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. No breaks. At least five employees confirmed they had received the message. Bellingcat, a non-profit online journalism collective dedicated to war crime investigations, collected receipts from purchases at the mall in recent days that were posted on social media by residents in Kremenchik to show that the mall was indeed open. As for the alleged weapons depot, the Cred Mash Factory, Kremenchik Road Machinery is a company producing equipment to repair and maintain roads or to repair vehicles used by construction workers. Bellingcat said, although one report in 2014 stated that the factory had been used to repair three military vehicles, this in itself does not prove that it was a storage site for U.S. and European weapons and ammunition eight years later, as Russia has claimed. Corporate videos published on YouTube by specialized construction companies show the presence of cranes and other equipment in the factory, which has corroborated the account of the Ukrainian authorities. According to various accounts, the plant had been temporarily closed because of the war. It was being guarded by a custodian who finished his shift at 2 p.m., just before the strike. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be alerted to our next episode. We'll see you again soon on Warzone.